1973, six yachts made history when they took part in the inaugural Darwin Dilly Yacht Rally. After a few beers, we decided we'd challenge someone to a, a race to Timor for a carton of beer. Well, was a friend of mine had a boat and we were all keen sailors, we decided we'd set off in the race. I was around 14 years old. My father always encouraged me to sail. We got a fairly good lead on the fleet. We finished uh, first across the line. There were a few disputes after that. Um, we never did finish up with that carton of beer. All the islanders out of the villages were all coming down to the sea to greet a yacht. We'd enjoyed two races and we were getting ready for the third when the uh, uh, civil unrest started. That civil unrest was in fact the secret invasion of East Timor by the Indonesian Army and Navy. In 1999, Indonesia capitulated and three years later, East Timor became an independent state. I hope that the Australians and all those who reside in Australia, maybe from different countries, uh, take this opportunity to uh, do again the Darwin Dilly Yacht Race. Part of our charter is to uh, establish yachting events between different countries in Northern Australia. She's a Davison 36. Yes, the boat is a Sydney 39 cruiser racer. There's a saying that any two yachts travelling in the same direction at roughly the same time becomes a race. Oh, well, uh, I think we can beat him. A bottle of rum is uh, on, on the line for, uh, for getting the first boat to Delhi. Well, the race started off with, in a fairly uh, brisk breeze. Our nearest competitor was the yacht called Raucus. A little bit of wind picked up and we sailed um, back towards um, the mainland of Timor-Leste and to find that we were in front of the, uh, the gunboat. Even though they were several miles ahead of us, we were able to um, pull them back and get past them. Uh, I'll race next year to um, defend the trophy. There's no reason why we won't be back next year to um, hopefully take out the title. The visitor coming to Timor-Leste um, I think will be amazed at the variety and range of tourist facilities available. We have uh, some of the best uh, diving in the world, beautiful mountains, so uh, that alone it's worth uh, exploring.